Uh, green Serum Part 2. Uh, we're going to evaluate this side of Green Serum. Part 1, we did this pass integral. We went around here counterclockwise. We got an answer of 4. And this side we should as well. Uh, the whole point of Green Serum is sometimes we want the left side, but it's easier to evaluate the right side. Uh, I suppose there are circumstances where you want the right side, and you can use the left side. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, just one little point. If f is conservative, this is going to be zero, by the way, uh, because that equals that. That's the test for conservative. So you integrate zero dA and get zero. And of course, for a conservative field, we know that the uh, integration around a closed loop is going to be zero. So Green's theorem makes sense. Basically, zero equals zero. I think at last, uh, this little closed loop means it's a closed path. And this little arrow here indicates orientation. I don't think if I indicated that last time, but it has to be an orientation this way. Uh, you can reverse the orientation, then just reverse these two terms, take your pick. If you, if you like your life to be clockwise, well, just reverse these two terms. Uh, so we have this F, Xi plus Xyj, and this uh, Cartesian product, which is basically the square, and uh, first of all, we're going to calculate partial of n with respect to x minus partial of n with respect to y. Here's what m and n are. m is x, n is x, y. Uh, well, we do an x partial. This x partial is this x partial of x, y. Do an x partial of the j term, y partial of the x term. It's kind of like things are reversed. Minus partial of y of x. Well, that's zero. And that's just going to be y. Okay, that y is a constant coefficient. <clears throat> so for our integral, we have to integrate y, replace this whole factor here with y. 0 to 2, 0 to 2, easy peasy, integrating on a square. Uh, y dy integrates to y squared over 2, 0 to 2. 2 squared over 2 is 2, so you get a 2 here. 2 dx gives us 2x from 0 to 2 which is four as promised. Okay, and that's, that's basically Green's theorem. So we'll be back with the divergence theorem. We'll go through a similar process where it will give you a pretty good idea what flux is the way we go through it.